We always wanted to pay homage to the original show in terms of its spirit. Um, and that's why I think what will be surprising is that it's all the same characters, but we've made them deeper and more complex and more nuanced, and we've pushed the emotion of it. So it's funny, uh, but it's also really heart-rendering, I think. Um, and I then wanted to make sure that we created a world that was unique unto itself, that wasn't borrowing from the other superhero movies that, uh, you know, in the last 10, 15 years have been dominating. I thought that this had its own legacy and sort of deserved its own unique take and world. So we tried very hard to make sure that our design feels um, kind of uh, coherent within its own framework. Uh, I think they all have a degree of an archetypical character to them. So Jason is the football star hero, but it, we've tried to turn each of these archetypes on their ear a little bit. So he's the fallen football hero. Um, Kimberly is sort of the pretty girl, popular girl that has been ostracized from that group. Uh, Billy is someone who's invisible. Uh, and lives in his own world in his own bubble and has never had friends. Um, Zach is the kind of renegade, rebel, wild kid that has a really complicated backstory to why he separates himself from people. And Trini is this loner, quiet girl that when she begins to speak, she sort of reveals so much depth to what she's going through. And so they're all disparate. Uh, and when they begin to open up, they all realize that the teenage problems that they're facing are universal and that they can understand each other on a deep level. Rita Repulse is played by Elizabeth Banks and she is out to find the Zeo Crystal, which is the source of all life on Earth that is buried somewhere in their small town Angel Grove. And with that power, she will be able to rule the universe, but in getting it, she will destroy all life on Earth because life itself will evaporate from our planet. And she will stop at nothing to try and get it, and she sees these new Power Rangers as easy to defeat because she's defeated Zordon's team uh, millions of years ago, and they were the most experienced ranger team. I think you look forward to a movie about real relatable characters that go on a journey that is heartfelt, uh, emotional, genuinely, but also fun and epic and spectacular. And there's just a great action adventure, and I think it's a good time at the movies. You'll come out feeling good.